we're here at the KPMG Women's PGA, uh, standing in the 18th fairway. Uh, pretty critical place in golf history. I think we can all remember what happened with David Toms. Uh, Keegan Bradley and Jason Duffner had their duel here. A lot can happen in these final four holes. I want to learn from these players how they're charting them, how they're uh, factoring in the water, where that means they're going to be aiming, and uh, honestly just get appreciation for how accurate these players are because I'm standing in this fairway. It looks way wider on TV than it currently is. Even the layup here is looking really tricky. So let's go take a look at holes 15 through 18 here at the Atlanta Athletic Club. 15T, we have seen uh, two or three groups come through. We've seen uh, more than one ball in the water, so you gotta think that factors in down the stretch. It's gonna depend on how good of a yardage you have. I had my six wood in my hands. I mean, it's pretty long par three. I did hit a couple of bunker shots from that left bunker just in case, because I have a feeling that might be a, a popular bailout spot uh, this week. So where does this 15th rank like hardest par threes during the year? Uh, I think it's definitely like in the top five, yeah. uh, especially from that back tee box. It's uh, yeah, it's a good 180, 180 meters. So uh, it's yeah. a solid today. It was a solid four iron. We saw a lot of balls in the water yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good center of the green hole. All right, so we're here in 16 fairway. The word that comes to mind is uncomfortable. It's playing nine yards uphill. Green canting from left to right. At least it appears that way visually from the fairway yet your fairway is sloping left to right as well, so you kind of want to be hitting a draw off a ball below your feet. That's probably one of the more severe greens out there, just the, most of the greens are back to front, uh, but that one is probably a bit more back to front than all the other ones. I don't think we're going to see a ton of fireworks on this 16th hole. I think this is going to be one that's just kind of hold on tight, make your four, get to the last two, keep it on dry land, hopefully steer it into the house. Another par three with water, a uh, little shorter club. Like today I was hitting an eight iron. Uh, the tough pin is obviously gonna be uh, tucked kind of back left. There's no real safe spot to bail. It reminds me of the TPC Sawgrass onset a little bit where you know you have that island green shot that no matter how big your lead is, you just gotta get aboard. Once you're aboard there, you're probably pretty smooth sailing. Do you ever fudge a number if, you, if you're trying to convince a player to take a different club? Oh, you hesitated, yes. I think so. <laughs> Off camera, yes. <laughs> Ollie, do you ever fudge a number, put a little more on it if, it, if there's a, a, a water right, a water has a red front? Nah, we both keep numbers. If it's a cover, I'll just round it up. Never sense. rounding down on a cover? Never rounding down on a cover and always round down on a run out. But would I know that you rounded up? Sometimes she calls me out on it and she says, is that an actual run out or an Ollie run out? So we have 43 front, 56 flag, 6 iron control. Check mark means it was a good one, I have to assume. We'll watch Danielle throw balls in from over the screen, see how they would end up in this back bunker. Uh, we learned it would, could, could sit on the downslope and she bladed one into the water, so since she goes into the yards book. Back bunker no good? Back bunker's no good. There is no bunker, because there's no back end of the green. I have a new back edge of the green. Kind of cool to see, watch, watch that unfold, watch that thinking unfold. So I think they have two different tea potential tee boxes. So today I hit a tee ball from uh, either one. Back tee, I would say no chance. Uh, who knows, but I was playing with uh, Yuka Sasso uh, 18 holes today and I mean we know she, she hits it pretty far so she had a good drive from the upper tee box and was able to get there with some kind of hybrid. So I would say as, if they move it up and you hit a good drive, yes, from the back tee, no. Is this a three shot hole for you all week, you think, or you think you're going to uh, give it a go from the up tee? We'll have a look, <laughs> but I think it, I might give it a go. I think, you know, it's pretty soft at the moment and we're supposed to get more rain. So if it's going to hold, I'm going to go for it. Something else Sally pointed out that I think was an excellent observation is how the proximity of 15, 16, 17, 18. Uh, if someone goes on a charge down the stretch uh, this weekend, uh, these other groups around here are going to know about it. Is there any other stretch uh, that, you, that you guys play normally that compares to the finishing stretch here? Probably not, no. It's very, very difficult. 